All right, sweet. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Shamshir Sound video. Big room track from scratch. We're returning to this. I've been experimenting with some mastering ideas. So the past few minutes, I was kind of laying down, <laughs> laying down, <laughs> laying down some uh, mastering ideas. I might retain them. I was trying to do some light uh, kind of like SSL compression I was testing. Um, just kind of was testing around with some stuff, but essentially we're going to be listening to it in the, just the regular clipper. Um, I did try out since then so a couple things. Um, I have it disabled right now. I'm going to go ahead and play it back for you guys. So this is where the drop begins. I believe, I think we have a nice intro here. So I'm going to just play it all out and we'll go from there just so we can come back to this. And we're just playing back with the clipper there. Sweet. So let's go. Okay, so th there's going to be a lot more stuff needed here. It's like missing tons of stuff. think the drop has energy so for now I'm gonna kind of go around and focus on the bridging components the fill the break some additions here because I'm liking the energy like it's impactful I listen to it um, so I'm really gonna focus on seeing here if I need to remove muddiness or add more elements um, and of course I need to add some more stuff here so I think I'm gonna just just to not get too stagnant, let's just first start with the intro maybe. Uh, maybe like a theme, an ongoing theme, maybe like an ARP. Um, so let's maybe make something. I like to call this maybe like intro ARP. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be an ARP. It's just the name of this pattern for now. Four bars long. Um, give it a name. Whatever, let's just get an idea down. Totally forgot what the key was of this track and I'm like, oh, it's E minor, nice.
so I was double checking the side chain. So I have fruity balance doing like the main parts, but also I have it supplemented with other stuff. So just was checking that for the intro arp to decide what to do. Uh, gonna come back to the intro arp. Oh, I got routed to here. Oh, okay, that kind of looked confusing there. Okay, so intro arp, I'm gonna put fruity balance on it, give it the side chain of the lead, which um, I think I renamed to side chain, should be. Okay, cool. I wanna kill a little bit of the low end energy. So before I do that, let me try it in the plugin. Okay, cool. Let's keep adding maybe more wetness. Okay, now let's kind of dig around with this, see what we can do. Just having to kind of listen to it. Just, just experimenting. Control N here, I'm gonna make unique. And just, I'm just gonna literally just experiment.
like in that phaser. Let's make like a pad, control pad maybe. I'm just gonna do it kind of lazily, tweak the reverb. Making a uh, pattern called intro pad. I'm gonna side chain this one too, maybe even to the same send, because like this is just like intro material for me. Um, let me turn the side chain back on. Let me put this on. Probably kick maybe around 150, 120. form here that needs to be fixed. That plump plump tail that pops off. Need to automate that I think. Sometimes you need to do automation for the sake of cleaning. I imagine this is gonna change when I update to the new version of FL. 
because I don't have the automatic um, delay compensation for the automation clips yet. So I'm gonna, this, this is how you use trickery, you know, in case you have issues because of that, like in case you have issues because of a tail or something, actually this really doesn't have anything to do with plug-in delay compensation, but just if a tail, like a tail of a sample is like popping off to a bar you don't want. So kind of, I'm, I want this kind of, there we go. Like sometimes you gotta be aware of that because this, just be mindful. I mean, it might be the effect you want. Sometimes for, you know, sometimes it might actually be better with it, who knows. But yeah, I want it off there. Um, now in this case, I'm actually gonna put back to 80%. So, but much earlier, just so ahead of time, it's already at the 100% to compensate um, but with that being said I should be mindful because you know control n so you don't want it to crash you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know what I'm saying if you use FL studio you know what I'm saying <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be mindful of other areas with the kick so briefly here let me show you guys I think I'm gonna leave this on I in, instead of the kick going to the master, I did add this. It's like a heavily driven supercharger, but only like a tiny bit wetness, and it gives it like a stompiness. So I did add that, and this was just to prevent it from clipping. Um, just to experiment, and it gives it a little bit of oomph, just 6%, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. Um, and I was considering something on the lead too. I was considering at one point, um, but the lead, I did do an experiment where on B here, it's the same settings as A, but I did experiment with the compressor. So I'm gonna have a listen actually right now with it, A, B. not a huge difference like the compression might actually be detrimental so I'll just leave it um, we need to make this intro less ass <laughs> you know so let's do it let's try to make this intro less ass
I think I like that more, you know? A little bit clean, you know? Not too much wonky mudness going on. Mudness. Gonna listen to see what's cutting through like the high end because I want that intro to cut through
have it now to a point where it's driven uh, better reverb is pushed a little bit more delays pushed a little bit more to create more wetness don't want it too dry but don't want it too drowned out so I don't know how I feel about this pad um, I like keeping this this skeletal intro and see if this will just be like effects layered just for kind of like some crispiness and of course uh, we'll have this in the background Sometimes the the sound design doesn't go as you intend and that's okay. Just try out whatever you want to do, you know. Attaching it to the pitch of the that dirty Dutch automation clip and making sure the pitch range is like 12. It kind of sounds awkward. We can try either less or eliminate it. Just going to keep adding some elements.
Okay, just setting the framework. Um, the results were better, I think, with the fill, <clears throat> with the fill with the buildup snare, giving it that little bit of ambiance instead of turning off endless smell here, turning it off just right at the drop. It might be better that way, giving a little bit of uh, wetness in there. I'll see if I maybe want to narrow it, go from like wide to just in the center. Um, that might give them a little bit more impact. It might actually be a good idea. Um, before trying that out, I'm going to have to route this stuff, though. A lot of this is kind of... Just gonna call this fill effects before drop instance twenty eight. Okay, anything that doesn't have it, I'm just gonna put it on there. Um, how about this one? Yeah, whatever. Same thing. This is part of it. I don't know. Sometimes grouping effects just helps I guess for me I'm just gonna group these together what is this okay that's a little bit too much I don't want to get too ahead of myself that one is okay to be there okay um let's try that out I guess um an automation clip for stereo separation. Um, stereo separation. I've got to look at it. Stereo separation. Um, so this could go one of two ways. It can either become shit uh, or it can become a little bit interesting. So 50% is the default value in the middle. Okay. Um, but if you go upwards, of course, you could make it more mono. And that's what I'm going to try doing. I'm going to try doing something like this. Just like this. Just to see what happens. like super tight curve like that. Yeah, I like that. It's not bad. I'm going to leave it.
happened there. some tweaks to this so the kick is impactful
actually cleans it up a bit because there was like some sub clash <clears throat> so I've been really just keying in on this I want to clean up some of that so I cleaned up some of that sub bass because there's bass coming from this and this, and this and of course there's that sub there too so there has to be space made old whip.
disabling the EQ on the fills just to experiment. Sometimes low end, low end energy can be beneficial for the drop. Before the drop, I mean. <clears throat> oh man, so let's see here. Uh, it's got some good vibes. I like the intro. I think I'm gonna have to add more wetness and stuff to it. spice up the build up a bit with some kind of like maybe some effects playing the lead build up exciter um, so let's go Legato, I think it is Legato Triller. Okay. Cat wants to come in. Got to in the cat, you know. Come on in. Whew. So, um, I'm going to add the effects. And maybe it'll work, a little kind of balance action.
nice this is giving a nice frequency in this area reinforcing the drop <laughs>
be organized. Remember to be organized, sort your stuff. It's gonna be easier when you come back to these projects, especially later on.
Um, I'm going to try H delay instead. Instead of this one. I'm just thinking about different delays, the way I can kind of widen it up.
that's it. I think that's a wrap. Um, made some good progress with it. I'm happy we added like a cool analog kind of intro synth. Added some more hype. Added some more hype to the build up. Um, changed processing a little bit. So the kick has been kind of oomphed a little bit, tiny bit low end from the supercharger. So as a recap, um, next thing, of course, I'm going to experiment with the EQ on the fill because uh, it removed a little bit of the energy a bit, a bit too much. Of course, we have the fill and some other elements going mono right before the drop. A um, little bit of cleanup. A lot of this project uh, in the past couple of hours has been a lot of cleanup and some subtle additions like effects layers thus far, uh, kind of gluing together the track a little bit more. So in the next video, it's definitely going to be um, just a little bit of more gluing together the track, um, putting a little bit of a space before the beginning and ending of the song. And yeah, that's probably going to be a wrap. It's going to be a wrap soon. And let me know what you guys think about it thus far. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.